the last couple of days, we had heard that Tyler had his head shoved into a wall locker. He said he is a geek. My concern is, is that you were making someone feel so uncomfortable that they didn't want to be in school. I feel kind of nervous going to school because I like learning, but I have trouble with making friends. Does it say something truly terrible about me that even I wanted to beat up one or two of the kids in this film? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it really does, yeah. man. No, I, I mean, I, I think that's where you know that if you have that bully gene in you, is like the moment you see somebody that looks so awkward and just like, wow, uh, just so not apart with everyone else that you want to go, uh, yeah, that person does kind of deserve a punch in the face. God, <laughs> what, is, what is with you guys? <laughs> well, I, I'll be honest. It, it wasn't really that in particular. It was that one of the main kids they look at, I was for there was 15 minutes of this film that I thought for sure he was sex man from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm yeah. sorry, bully movie, but yeah. we got to make an exception. Well, not, but, that was but, sex man, yeah, because yeah. that kid's obnoxious. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But saying that, you did realize that no, it's not sex man. It's actually merman who they're focusing on, and you can see the evolution of merman to where he is eventually he was bullied, and then he he decided I'm not going to be the bullied person anymore. I'm going to be the bully now. Yeah, and, which oh has really? Led his bullying to uh, he man all the time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this documentary has gone through a lot of controversy because it like there were lots of stuff about the rating where they wanted the MPAA wanted to rate it R and then the makers were like well what the fuck man this is a film for all ages to see about the fact that this bullying in schools is such an ever present problem yeah. that like mm-hmm. if you make it R the kids who should be definitely a large part of who should be seeing this mm-hmm. won't be able to although come on let's face it seriously when does a <laughs> movie theater ever turned a kid away from buying an R that, that, that's true. <laughs> well, I think they want to be able to show it in schools. Although it sounds to me like you know the kids who get bullied will be nodding their heads, going, "Yeah," that's and the mean. kids who bully will be taking notes. Oh <laughs> yeah, well, and it's funny because yeah, like with the whole rating thing, I'm like, man, the, the MPAA is the fucking biggest bully. They of that's them all. true. I mean, yeah. yeah, they're like, hey, that's about us. You know, <laughs> well, <laughs> I was that kid being an ass. It got more <laughs> complicated when the the groups like focus on the family and other really far right wing Christian organizations were upset about the movie because they said this is a attack on freedom of religion. Exactly how is that an attack on freedom of religion? Well, because there's a lesbian student in here and they're trying to say people shouldn't be allowed to bully her. I am not. I wish I was. I wish I was making this up. But that's exactly. I mean, these same groups are attacking like uh, anti hate crime laws now because they say those are those are anti freedom of religion because we should be allowed to hate people for being gay. Well, the funny thing too is that a a large majority of these, at least what this movie focuses on, like the kids that are getting bullied and the kids that are committing fucking suicide over getting bullied. uh, A lot of these kids are from the Bible Belt. And the whole which is thing like, is yeah, middle America. It, yeah, and it's like disturbing to think Christ, kids kids are actually killing themselves because of this. It's like, man, maybe I'm not right watching the news at the right time. But no, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been it's been popping up in the news yeah. a lot more often. Yeah. And it and it's not one of these things where like when you hear about something like this, you know, kids getting kidnapped or committing suicide, it's not that Oh, suddenly there's this new epidemic. It's like no, suddenly we're in the information age where you're just hearing about it more. It gets, it gets it's always been happening. Yeah, it's we just actually now it's we actually on. see the footage now. Well, yeah, I guess I mean some of it is coming from I think all of us being a lot older. Uh, I don't mean to call you guys old, but come on, let's face it, we're all a lot older. Uh, that when I was a kid, like there were bullies, sure, but like the message we got from after school specials is. Fucking man up, exactly. You know? And and yeah. I'm not saying that that is the accurate attitude. I'm. Just, I mean, there were a lot mm. of outdated shit that we were told when we were Fuck young. Yeah. Yeah. But that was indeed what I was kind of told. It's like, look, if there's a bully. There's a lot of different routes to go through. But you're never going to really respect yourself unless the way you deal with it is being the yeah. one to just punch him in the face. You, 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 you I, I, say that all you want. Yeah. See, what makes me mad about this movie is like, oh, do you do this now? Because I was in fifth grade. Our whole class was bullied. But we had like 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 this one main bully who had three henchmen. And every time the teacher would step out, they would just terrorize everybody. Yeah. They'd go around hitting, taking, stealing your shit, uh, making fun of you. And it wasn't, it wasn't shit we could do about it. And yeah, you get that lecture like, somebody hits you, you hit them back. Oh, yeah. That was one day after school. They did it to a kid. He was like, my dad always told me the bullies are, are just as afraid of me as I am of them. And I'm, you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. 
and they beat the shit out of that kid. Right. Yeah. So that was my lesson. I was like, I'm gonna keep my head down and just give my lunch. I, I think it's easy. For, I think we can all like raise our hand as far as like somebody say, who is who in this room is a victim of bullying? And <laughs> Cyrus, you better raise your goddamn hand. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, yeah, I, I, I used to fa- shake that kid and go, why are you so fat? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I I can definitely say uh, I, I understand this all too well to where you know I don't I don't ever get into things that have happened to me because my life has been nothing but you know roses and cherries and, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, and, and strawberry fields but you know Playing slot uh, but no i mean i i remember back in the day when your 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 fellow narrator here right now co-host <laughs> was like attacked with a group of kids like surrounded by it looked like a zombie attack yeah. on me to where i was a, a big pulp of nothing and <laughs> and it like did it it had some real hardcore effects on me but 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 through those lessons, I soon re- I soon learned the riddle of steel. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I yeah, it, it, for me, bullying has always been sort of somewhat of a rite of passage. Like this is something you, you every kid is gonna have to deal with at some point. But you know you gotta you gotta you gotta at some point come to realize like am I gonna let this shit go on or am I am I gonna do something well, about it? Well, I think part of the core issue I have with this movie Bully is that it never gets to the real root of this story the whole thing kind of functions as just like turning its audience into an emotional punching bag like I mean when we mm-hmm. start off we're showing these cute videos of this kid from years beforehand it's like oh look at this cute this kid they couldn't pick an ugly kid they had to pick a cute <laughs> yeah. kid and it's like oh look at this poor kid and it's like oh he's bullied to school they should catch him on videotape crying you know I mean it's like oh that's, that, that is terrible man this kid's picking on him like that and then they're like and then Many years after these videos were taken, because he's 17 yeah. when it actually happens, and he looked like he's about 12 when the videos, <laughs> he was uh, he killed himself, he hung himself, and yeah. this is how the movie starts. Yeah. So it's like, all right, now no kidding around, <laughs> yeah. this shit is serious. Yeah. And from there, it never feels like it actually does more than dance around. Well, what the fuck are we supposed to do about this mm-hmm. then? Issues where I kept feeling like, look. Some kids do take this so too far, right? Some oh, no yeah. question. There's oh, always yeah. going to be kids who go too far, and there's always going to be kids who take it to personally and internalize everything until it just destroys them. Right. Just like there are adults who are that way as well. Mm-hmm. Sure. But <laughs> what are you trying to say, film bully? That we should do. <laughs> I mean, the biggest thing is like the the core issue that they're too scared. To actually discuss other than just a glancing blow is that the teachers ain't doing shit Mm -hmm. and that was my problem Mm -hmm. in fifth grade the teachers weren't doing shit i'm like you know what there's adults around who's supposed to be protecting us Mm -hmm. and if nobody's going to do anything then what are we supposed to do and and, And these asshole parents who raise these asshole kids yeah and and the thing is that you can't help i mean the movie does such a good job of focusing on the adults who are when they're in front of the camera they want to pretend like oh i know everything that's going on in the school it's like yeah i i know every single kid individually and i know who they really are and then when you actually see like the footage of you know kids fucking just going crazy on those goddamn school buses yeah you know you realize yeah of of course they don't of course those teachers don't know shit i know that you know because we've all been through fucking that so (laughs) what are you really telling me that i don't already know yeah i mean that is just that is just how the world is that's how the world operates that's how it works especially with these teachers because you know they're like there's a moment where the principal is telling the, the family look i wish I could do something but I can't be everywhere at once I'm sorry you know I really wish but then there's a there's a a, a really like crazy moment where she's like oh and by the way look at my grandchildren I would hate it if somebody bullied them aren't they cute yeah. well that <laughs> whole sequence like, is so awkward because she's <laughs> yeah. saying I've been on those buses and those kids are golden and mm-hmm. they clearly I mean of course they are when you're there you yeah. Yeah. principal of the Duh. school yeah. yeah no shit what are you an idiot how yeah. did you get this job <laughs> no. uh, but I'll tell you this, and I do agree with the the parent in the scene. She goes, well, when I was a kid, if somebody started beating on somebody else, the bus driver would pull the bus right. over yeah. and deal with that situation. Oh, yeah. You That just doesn't happen anymore because the bus driver's like, fuck that. I'm just hired help. Yeah. I'm just here to drive the motherfucking yeah, bus. Yeah. And I, I agree with the parent in that case. It's mm-hmm. like the schools have pulled so far back now from yeah. feeling like they have any responsibility that they're just like, look, man, yeah. you can't handle your own kids. That's your problem. We're not going to be liable for yeah. shit. Right. right. And, like, yeah. well, if I come in and stop that kid that i'm gonna get sued and yeah, lose my cause, job because i've seen that situation happen i mean uh, there uh, there's a box uh, a guy who was driving a bus he was a boxer some kids were fucking up he pulled this he pulled the bus over went over told that kid hey i don't give a fuck who you are who you think you are uh i'm a grown as adult you're gonna act right on this bus or you're gonna get the fuck out 
And like right after that, there was like a shitstorm of stuff happening because the kids' parents got involved. Yeah, Always. and you're like, wow, it's like you know, you, you're fucked if you do, you're fucked if you don't. Well, yeah, we you know? okay. So like, I know our generation grew up with that free to be you and me hippies like leftover thing, <laughs> yeah. which free to be you and me hippies like leftover thing, <laughs> yeah. which is so well intentioned. It's hard to be mad at it, but it left kids with this impression that every child is a beautiful, unique snowflake that can do no wrong. Mm-hmm. And children are fucking monsters. Okay? Oh, yeah. they are the worst. Worst examples. They're humanity it's at its idiotiest. You know? <laughs> and, and that's what I love about this documentary because, you know, you think – there's a lot of this documentary where I'm watching it. And I'm just going, wow, how stupid are these kids in America right now to where – I imagine they have to know that cameras are all Everywhere. over the goddamn and place. Still, they're shooting a goddamn movie in your school about bullying. They're yeah. following the they're following fucking the the, the uh, sex man around, and <laughs> it's like you're these kids still don't give a rat's ass. You see them choking this kid, poking him with pencils, like punching him in the arm, slapping him on the fucking side of the head. And I was like, wow, uh, how, how did, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't realize that Mo went to the school. <laughs> I was like, I was like, wow, is this how the three stooges got started? I was like, but, but I mean, it is amazing to know that, you know, these kids are being documented in this documentary yeah, and that, you know, it's like they don't give a fuck. They just don't care. Yeah. They, they know that they have to know the cameras are there, but they don't care. Well, their parents have trained them to, to not get like, yeah. what's going to happen to me? Well, mm-hmm. and to champion that kind of behavior. I mean, all you have to do is turn on any reality show and you'll see people, adults, who dress in beautiful clothes or treated as celebrities, treating each other just like that, pretty mm-hmm. much. Yeah. Just being abusive assholes. And... I think that with this entitled of a generation, like I said, we've got our kids can do no wrong in their head. And also, how dare you do anything to impugn my children is the other attitude, that entitled parent attitude. Uh, You know, the teachers are too scared to do anything. They're afraid they're going to lose their job. So where is the answer? Well, I wish I could say bully even hinted at one, but it doesn't. It doesn't. At all. And if anything, to me, as much as it was so, my heart goes out to every single one of these children in this film, I mean, who are being bullied. They're all true innocents. They really are. I mean, they're just sweet. They're the sweetest kids you can imagine, at least as far as in the terms the camera is presenting them. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Mm -hmm. But it certainly, it, it feels that way watching it. We know what it was like to be a kid and be bullied. But... I just I go so what is the point why did you make me feel like shit for two hours when you had nothing really to say I mean it's version of let's do something about this is let's all be clear that there is such a thing as bullies and hold hands in a circle to say <laughs> boo bullies yeah. it's, it, not, it, it, it's it, not gonna do yeah, anything yeah, the other reel is where the bullies all come to that vigil and, and take all their lunches <laughs> <laughs> yeah because it seemed like the, mo- the movie was like really especially towards the end you're, you, you are right you're absolutely right I'm glad I wasn't the only one thinking about is as far as like okay I understand you're presenting it to me. You know they they present to you about I don't know about five or six kids in this movie. Yeah, and you you, you try to get uh, to know their story on an individual basis, but there's too many of them because you, it's so scattered that you're like, okay, well, where are these stories going? Okay, I know they're victims, and that sucks. You know, it's all documented. I really feel bad, but you know. What what is the outcome with these kids? You're expecting some. You're just expecting something to come out of it. Yeah. To where there's the the one the one main kid, uh, the merman uh, kid. Yeah. Was like, <laughs> uh, he, you know, it's like the filmmakers had to go out of their way to make something happen. Which is what happened is that they took all this footage and they presented it to the family and to the school. Yeah. That like we've been doing this documentary, <laughs> we've been focusing on this kid, we've been seeing him getting bullied. Nobody has done anything about it, and like normally we wouldn't get involved because we're just here to document. But yeah. now we feel a personal responsibility. It's like you can only film somebody like yeah, about to get shot for so long until you're like, yeah, I got to put the camera down and present this because this, this, I'm scared. I don't want to end up shooting this kid getting murdered tomorrow. And the movie does do that to where I'm like, I thought that was the only proactive thing that it really did. But at the same time, I kept thinking about, well, what about all the other kids? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, but what about all the other kids the movie doesn't even have, couldn't possibly take the time to go discover out mm-hmm. there? I mean, there's a point you see a bulletin board with a list of names of kids who've killed themselves mm-hmm. because of bullying. And you're like, wow, there's some weak gene pools out there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not what I said. I'm, I'm, no, you do think about that, but I, I will say the one positive thing about the movie is they're at least letting these kids' stories out. You know, you yeah. really do get the point of view of these kids. I mean, there was one kid that um, I really wish they would have focused in on more because 
it was a situation where you, li- looking from the outside in, there was this kid, two kids got pulled aside. And the teacher was forcing him to shake hands, you know, that doing that bullshit. Yeah. And the one kid that you assumed was the bully was actually, like, the victim oh. uh, uh, of the bullier. Where the bullier was the one who was, like, being rational. He's like, I'm, I'll shake the hand. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. the nice guy here. And when you look at the kid, you know, the, the kid was like, no, I don't want to. Fuck him. And when you realize, like, the teacher's like, well, you're being kind of an ass, Aww. you know. And the kid was like... Because that kid doesn't mean it. He's been following me. He's been stalking me. We've been through this before. We've gotten the cops involved with that kid, and he keeps fucking hunting me down. And the teacher and, and I don't want to be nice to him. And the you teacher just doesn't even hear that. Not at, at all. all. The teacher does not care. He's like, well, all I saw was you being an ass. Oh. He was trying to say he was sorry. He already did, and he didn't mean it. We had you to know continued what? on. You didn't mean it when you stuck out your hand out either. You're just like him. Like someone who pushes you into a wall, threatens to break your arm, threatens to stab you and kill okay. you, he shoot you a- with a gun. He, a- he apologized. And have you reported all that sort of stuff? Yes. I think you guys right. might be really good friends at some time. We were. And they started bullying me. And you're just like, okay, there is there is, there is that that story that uh, that is really intriguing. Because just from an outside basis, you think maybe that kid is the problem because yeah. he's the quiet one. But I mean, there's there's a lot of great moments like that in the movie. Like yeah. the, my one of my best, one of my favorite moments of this is that when this kid was actually being confronted by his family about you know how do you let this happen to you? Like why do you let this go on? Do you think it's okay? And the kid basically just flat out just is like, like the family is like the mom was like, tell me, do you feel anything about this? And the kid was like, you know, I, I, honestly, I don't feel anything. Yeah, he says, I don't feel anything anymore about, like, anything. Yeah. And you're like, this is chapter one of a serial killer film. Yeah. yeah. Does it make you feel good when they punch you? Or kick you? Or stab you? Do these things make you feel good? Uh, no. Well, I don't know. I, I'm starting to think I don't feel anything anymore. Friends are supposed to make you feel good. That's the point of having them. Your only connection to these kids is that they like to pound on you. If you say these people are my friends, then what friends do I have? Yeah, yeah. you're right. It's and, a frightening moment. Yeah, it, it really is. And you can't help but really feel like, in some ways, you, you can't help but feel scared. It's like, what is this kid going to become? But at the same time, you can't help but really sympathize for that kid. Of course. Because oh, I'm yeah. like, yeah, I understand. You're getting it from both sides. You, you, you're getting lectured from your parents, and you're getting shit from your bully. It's like, there's a no-win situation. I just don't, you're I don't get that, because I just feel like if if I knew that there was a kid bullying my kid, I would get in that kid's face. Yeah, I would, I would, yeah. I would fuck him up and, <laughs> yeah. and just deal with it. Just, just, just deal with the, you know, yeah. the parents coming yeah. at me. It's like, hey, you know what? You had all the time in the world to take care of this. If you're not going to, yeah. I'm gonna take care and, of it. And nobody's gonna yeah. like my solution. And you know, it's weird too. What I noticed about the movie is that I noticed like a lot of the mothers were way more involved. It seems unless unless the camera was just being shy, uh, but. It seemed like the mothers were far more involved than the father figures. Yeah. Which was, like, really, like, the biggest kind of, like, man, I, I'm surprised that guy's dad, like, yeah, it, like, hearing what you just said, I mean, it's like, I'm surprised there wasn't more of that kind of attitude. Like, I was waiting for a dad to go, okay, who is fucking doing this to you? I'm going to go to the school. You point him out to me. Yeah. So I can fucking have a talk I, to him. I kept man. wanting to see these parents and the way they were dealing with their kids before all the, the camera people came around and they act all, or their kids die and they act all like, no, I was this great parent and I can't believe this happened to my kid. It's like, you know, I have a feeling you probably weren't all that great of a <laughs> <Right>. parent, <laughs> actually, and now you're playing it up. Maybe if you yeah. came, recriminated yourself a bit more, it would feel more genuine watching this mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, I admit, sure, there's definitely situations where you just don't know, where kids just don't talk, they just clam up. But, you know, as a parent, part of your job is to realize, hey, my kid's being really quiet and not really active anymore and hiding in their room all the time. Time that something's wrong. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. I mean, the, the, it just. I, I know it's really the most difficult thing in the world to be a parent, but I, that's this movie doesn't really address that too much, and I don't think that there's so much they can. I mean, what are you supposed mm. to say? We're not going to legislate what parents can how they're supposed to raise their kids. It's mm. impossible. But we can. <laughs> it sure, st- be nice. Though. But we <laughs> can start actually paying attention to what's going on in our schools with the yeah. people who are paid to take care of these. Hell kids. yeah, yeah. And, I, I'd get in those teachers' faces too. I'm and, like, mm-hmm. don't you let this shit go on? And oh, then yeah. the movie just barely addresses that it skips over it like oh we don't want to piss anybody off it's like um so that's the whole movie feels like it doesn't want to piss anybody off 
off. Mm -hmm. I feel this is the sort of thing, it's a serious enough of a thing that if you're not going to piss anybody off, why did you bother making the movie at all? You're right. I I would take that movie and it would be exhibit A, in my case, of suing that school. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, easily. And and yeah, but you're right. You you can't help but go through uh, watching this movie and just think, man, you know, there were there were a lot of watching this movie and just think, man, you know, there were there were a lot of questions, a lot of things that I would have loved seeing somebody have the balls to ask, like the parents, the teachers getting involved, you know, because uh, it's like the only ones who are being honest in the movie are the kids, yeah. you know. Uh, especially, I like the uh, the the les the, there's a there's a lesbian uh, teenager in this where it's like her thing is like you know she doesn't where I'm like thinking okay if that was my daughter. It's like, baby, we're getting the fuck out of this crazy ass town. We yeah. just, we there's just no hope. And the daughter's like, no, I, I, I can't let them win. And you know, you see the outcome of that, and you can't help but feel for it. You know, you can't help but really feel that man. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know what you can do. You know, and, and that's the thing that frustrated me about the movie. It's like, not that I expect this movie to to have ever given me a solution about this problem, sure. which it is a problem, but. It does make it seem like, man, you know, it, it is, it, it's, it's kind of up in the air. I mean, like, that's, like I said before, the only good thing about this movie is letting those few kids have a voice. Yeah. Well, that's about it. And, and I think it accomplishes one thing uh, that, which is that it is opening a dialogue about it, which mm-hmm. is good, which we totally need to do. And in fact, there was a lot of teachers at our screening. But not as many as there should have been, mm-hmm. considering I can only assume they sent out a pretty open invitation. Yeah, it was like but, eight or, or nine. Or they were teaching school. I <laughs> y'all saw it in the afternoon when class was No, we saw it at 9.30 a.m., yeah. which is still plausible that somebody could have – they could have said, okay, well, I would like to go to see this film because it's just a thing for school that is a school-related agenda. Well, well, just so you know, there's another screening for it later this well, week. Well, hopefully that will be so full that, of that could be the one. Um, yeah. But in it. it does open a dialogue, like yeah. I said. And I, I think that the, in, that ter- in those terms, it's about valuable but i just wish it had had the courage of its convictions to follow up on some of the stuff that that seems clear are the real issues mm-hmm. the the solvable problems yeah. i mean like i kept saying during the whole bus thing i was like why don't they just have like a ta or something ride all the buses i don't understand mm-hmm. what if it's that big of a problem which it clearly is how big a deal would it be to do that yeah. you know i mean yeah. come on you could pay the one kids fucking are not guy gonna, to ride the bus for like the kids are clearly not, not put cameras on those buses. yeah well i mean you could just get a fucking like usb cams and yeah that shit but on. you know exactly. it's interesting you say that as far as putting cameras everywhere because it, it also made me wonder like you know at what point do you get so uh you know turn the school into like a, a, a basically a prison in a way my, my, to where you're you're already introducing big brother uh, even though I already know, like we've all become Big Brother already. With yeah, our I mean they, they have video cameras but, in school yeah. mostly, but you know what? My my, my feeling on that, and I, I know how totalitarian it might sound, but it's like, look, we tried it without the cameras, and you guys couldn't behave. You mm-hmm. you you couldn't you couldn't enjoy the freedom to not have that. You fucked it up for yourselves. Now this is what we have to do since you can't behave. I like that. I like that, Leon. I like that way of thinking. But I think that's how the Hunger Games started. The Battle Royale. <laughs> I was going to say. I, I, I will go a step farther and say explosive collars. <laughs> I, I will take it to that next step. I'm done with this bullshit. Oh so what? So what do y'all give it? Um, you know, it's some people are going to yell at us by default because we're not giving it a full price because there's a lot of people who are very emotional about the sure. film right now. Despite the fact, like I said, this is nothing new. This the only thing this is doing is bringing a couple things to in more of a public light than perhaps they ever have been before. But come on, everybody, you go read books from turn of the, the previous century and they talk about bullying at school. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's not a new thing. The, all this movie seems to assert is, so what are you going to do about it? without having anything else to do except get you emotionally worked up to get to that point. And I find that kind of irritating. Yeah. You know? I'm like, okay, once again, yeah, it opens a dialogue, assuming you can get the people who should be seeing it to actually see it. (laughs) But even in the film, we watch, like, people... You know, openly having dialogues going, we need to do something and we'll have a, a group candlelight vigil when like 12 people show up. And you're like, come on. Yeah. What did you do with that? <laughs> that's because that's the bullies called everybody else. Like, Don't you show up at your rally. <laughs> the bullies ordered pizzas for everybody else. It's like, I didn't order this. I got a vigil to go to. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I mean, who's going to wear the anti bullying, like a little rubber. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, do you have any other colors besides pink and baby blue? Uh, 
but uh, I'm sorry, but yeah. I, I wish I could like this more. There are very nice moments in it. They're very telling without having to over explain it, like mm-hmm. the, the ones that you detailed co host. Mm-hmm. But uh, ultimately, I just couldn't fall in love with it the way that they wanted me to or be as outraged as they wanted me to. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm just going to give it a high rental. I mean, it's oh, not wow. that it's badly put together. I just don't see the, the on the whole, the whole point of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm. I'm kind of right there with you, but like I said, I did like the fact that, you know, this movie did give a voice to all these kids. So, uh, I mean, it was intriguing. Uh, my only thing is, like, you know, we, we talked about all the, the shortcomings that this film had. The, the biggest one, I thought, was that they didn't even bother to even touch on, like, you know, the biggest one which all these kids do, and that's like you know cyberbullying. You know, yeah. I'm surprised they didn't. Oh, it doesn't even, cover that. They I'm didn't sure even attempt to cover that. They, no, they mentioned it. In they, passing, they, oh, they mentioned wow. it in passing. Like one of the mothers mentions it during a meeting, where it's like you know these kids are getting bullied here, but you don't realize that they're getting bullied uh, when they're on their internet, when they're, when they're on their computers, when they're on their phones. I mean, there it, there's a lot more to it than just what physically happens to them on, on the playground or around school. And I was like. That's another great thing they could have easily covered, like either in the second part or the third, third half, third, third part of this movie, because you did feel like, man, it's like, okay, how many times am I going to watch this kid just take a walk down the street, just going, man, it sucks to get bullied, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I was hoping that they would focus on it, but you know, I, I, I did, I did like it. It was, it was very intriguing to me, and uh, I, I'm going to give it a matinee. I mean, I, I do think that they should show this in schools, just so. If the parents aren't going to fucking get shit out of it, if they don't even give a rat's ass, it's something they can just put on. And I'm sure kids watching it will identify with a lot of these kids and see, you know, what this kind of stuff does lead to, which, you know, I'm sure a lot of these kids just have no fucking clue. I mean, I wish they would have focused on the bullies also. where They should have focused on the bullies and the consequences that those kids now have to live with. Or, 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 you know, let the audience know what kind of consequences they may have to live with knowing that what they did uh, ended up in the death of one of their classmates. Like, like, how does that affect their way of thinking? How does that affect them in general knowing that, wow, you know, I bullied that kid in the one time and now he's dead and I feel some part of some some guilt in that yeah know? thank you that i thank you for bringing that up because i think that's really the most germane point and probably the ultimately the biggest issue with the problem the film not really feeling like it has a set of balls on its own mm-hmm. is that it doesn't have the strength to examine to ask these kids well what's going on to interview these other kids the bully kids at all well, they're there are bullies it's scary well <laughs> <laughs> You know, and plus, so hard. even if you, even if you get want that to ha- fucking camera with me, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> even if you want to have the film be like, okay, we're going to play this for the school, so that hopefully bullied kids will feel the courage to step up. You never feel like any of the bullies in it get any sort of comeuppance at all. Yo. I mean, they should have like executed one of those motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you want them to, but it's like as soon as as soon as like yeah, as soon as it's time to interview people, like those those fucking bullies, they scatter like cockroaches. Yeah. Like they're nowhere to be found. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's, okay, so this is a. A good to okay anti-bullying movie, but a much better one would be Chronicle. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes it would. If we could have superpowers, sure. <laughs> You're saying oh, like, God. bully this kid, he gets superpowers. Gonna be, your world's gonna get rocked. Well, I, mean, be the big, I feel bad for that janitor. <laughs> it's gonna be the biggest bloody mess ever. <laughs> I, I, I want to say, I want to almost blame like the world of the entertainment communities for creating a society that is just so non-compassionate that is just considered to be right. the, the status quo to not give a shit about other people. To in fact think it's hysterical when other people bad things happen to them. I mean, yeah. that is the the core of our of all entertainment almost at this point. True. But I can't really say that too loud because that's kind of what we do. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was about to say, hey, hey, that, hey that's hey, how hey, I made hey, my hey, career hey, in yeah, sh- the, business of, the business of show. <laughs> we reached out to, to parents that have lost kids, parents of kids that are being bullied all over the world, and it took off like wildfire. All it takes is for one person to stand up. Be the difference. Go out and find that one child, that new kid, standing over there by himself. Be willing to stand up for him. Everything starts with one and builds up. Eventually, we have an army. If we all do it together, we will change the world. 